It's such a privilege and honor to send a solidarity message to the wonderful feminist campaigners being celebrated tonight at the Emma Humphreys Memorial Prize and the Centre for Women's Justice Award Ceremony. Tireless campaigners who have fought against violence against women and to hold the state to account for violence against women and girls. And so what better place than tonight than to also celebrate the wonderful women's revolution unfolding on the streets of Iran, led by women and girls who are fearlessly, inspiringly standing up against one of the most brutal theocracies of the 21st century, fighting a real life handmaid's tale. We know that this regime has met these protests with brute force. They are using weapons of war against civilians. They have killed more than 400 protesters just since September 16th, when the Iranian Kurdish young woman Mahsa Amini, Gina Amini, was killed by the morality police because of a few strands of hair showing through her hijab. We know that they've arrested more than 16 thousand protesters just since September 16th. And the Islamic Majlis or Assembly, out of 290 members, 227 of them have called on the Islamic judiciary to execute the protesters for enmity against God. This revolution is inspiring the world, but we know as feminist campaigners that no fight, however legitimate, however just, is guaranteed victory. We know that's not the case. If we want to see this women's revolution reach fruition, if we want to see this women's revolution change the face of Iran, change the face of Afghanistan, of Iraq, of the Middle East, of North Africa, of the world, we have to support it, we have to encourage it, we have to defend it as our own. And so tonight I'm asking you, whilst you celebrate these wonderful feminist campaigners who are fighting against violence against women and girls here in Britain, to remember that the fight and the women's revolution in Iran is a fight for women and girls across the globe. The slogan, Women, Life, Freedom, that was first raised in Rojava, but that has become universal in Iran, is a slogan that will change the world, if only we help it to reach fruition, if only we help it reach victory. It is your fight as much as it is the fight of the women and girls in Iran. So please stand with this revolution. Defend it with all your might. There are so many practical things you can do, from cutting your hair in support of Hair for Freedom, which is an action that has been led by Philia and One Law for All. During the 16 days of activism, we're calling on women to cut their hair as little or as much as they want in support of the women's revolution in Iran. We'll be taking that hair to the British Foreign Office, demanding that they stop saving our murderers. We're also calling on feminists to help us put pressure on the British government to shut down the embassy to, of the Islamic Republic of Iran to shut down the Islamic centers associated with the regime and also to expel the regime from the UN Commission on the Status of Women and the International Labour Organization. So many practical things that can be done to help this women's revolution reach victory. So my, my dear feminist friends, um, I wish you a wonderful evening tonight and whilst we are heartbroken with the many we have lost in the struggle for women's rights and equality and liberation that for for once in in many many decades there is hope for real change the islamic regime of iran came to power by imposing the veil with asset attacks with brute force and violence and it will come to an end with women burning and removing their veils on the streets of Iran. This is the beginning of the end of Islamic rule in Iran via a women's revolution. It is your revolution. Defend it, support it, strengthen it in any way that you can. And we hope 
Victory is near. A woman, life.